Hey guys, what is going on? It is Lodi's here, back with a new video. This one is slightly different as this one is uh, about Diablo 4. <clears throat> Some tips and tricks um, that uh, are useful to know if you are just getting started. So starting off, step, or t I guess step, tip, tip number one is start off in world tier one, as you guys can see over here, because if you start off in World Tier 1, there's no real point in going to World Tier 2. Yes, you may start with more uh, XP uh, per kill and more drop or more gold, um, but realistically, uh, you're slowing yourself down. So if you start in World Tier 1, you will kill bosses or bosses adds a lot quicker than if you were to go into world tier 2 because world tier 2 uh buffs the damage buffs the xp or uh, buffs the health so you, enemies are more challenging but yes you get 20 percent more experience and 15 percent more gold drop but if you are killing monsters and all that in world tier 1 you're going to kill them twice as fast so you're actually going to make more gold and xp on world tier 1 and you'll level up way quicker than if you were to play on world tier 2 unless you want to challenge in a, a, little, a little more slower pace then you can go world tier 2 not telling you not to but if you're trying to progress level quickly uh, world tier 1 is definitely the way to go next uh, tip number two finish your campaign uh, no need to uh, do it again so once you finish your campaign on one character when you create a new character you can do a skip campaign and it'll spawn you right here in town of Kiovashad and then you can just pick side quests up run do dungeons although going this is also going into uh, number three that you'll have to rediscover your whole map again if you discovered it on uh, your first uh, character which no big deal that's that's okay I mean it does sort of suck but it is what it is um, but one thing to take in each city uh, waypoint as you guys can see here will be saved on your map when you spawn in so it'll be easy to jump between the cities and then explore those areas um, out from there which is a little better than I guess no waypoints but you still don't have all the other waypoints that are that appear throughout the map so you will still have to go and rediscover them but another thing to note is that uh, once you unlock the renowns on one character you won't have to unlock them again um, because you'll have all these ones all the, the ones that actually matter as you level up so like on my one main character I unlocked just about all of the renowns for uh, Kyovashad. So now when I go into here, I got all the way up to tier 3 uh, unlocked. So I haven't gone into uh, world tier 3 yet, or world tier 4, but then I would also have these maxed. Then when you go in to do re your renowns on your, uh, your alt characters, it's just going to end up giving you gold. So when you start a new character, you'll end up starting with 10 extra... Um, stat points uh so or skill points which is is super nice and uh it'll help you level that little bit more quicker which is super useful also uh, once you finish the campaign because you will unlock your horse which your horse you get towards i'd say probably in act six so when you're just about done with the campaign you'll unlock your horse but once you unlock it it'll be unlocked across the all characters so when you create a new character boom you already have your horse which is super nice and if you didn't uh, discover all your renowns at that point like all your altars of lilith or running through your dungeons or even discovering the map once you unlock your horse then go and do that because you'll be able to save so much time going from say Kyovashad 
all the way over to uh, one of the dungeons, like, way over here on the east side of the map. Like, walking, yeah, it might take you, like, I don't know, six, seven minutes. Actually, it probably won't take you a lot that long. Say probably, like, three minutes to walk over there. Well, then, guess what? You have your horse. You can get over there in, like, a 30 seconds, a minute. So, it definitely saves a lot of time. And if you have a lot of uh, side quests, bouncing between them quickly... Uh, with a horse and even all of your, your um, whispers for when you get up to level 45 after the campaign so you'll make a so having your horse unlocked will be super useful also don't waste your gold early as you'll get replacement gear fairly quickly so if you're going in and enchanting your gear uh, let's see so I don't have anything enchanted here, but if you're going in and enchanting your gear, I would recommend not to do that because you will end up getting uh, new gear that replaces it um, pretty quickly, if not almost immediately. <laughs> so don't don't waste your gold on it. If anything, you'd want to probably upgrade your weapon, like maybe to I would say probably tier two at most, because you'll get a lot of iron chunks from either salvaging your old gear. Or you'll get uh, it from finding it out on the map. And I can go a little more into depth uh, in another video if you guys would like about uh, upgrading your gear and whatnot. Also, going into something similar with gear, another tip to take into note would be if you're, we have very limited bag space. And if you have gems, they'll take up like eight slots. So you'll want to uh, be careful on that, but say that you do have eight slots full of gems and you're out of gear and you're middle, in the middle of a dungeon and you don't want to teleport back to town. Well, you can actually take your gems that you have, put them into, like, say, your slotted gear that you have in your inventory, and that will free up a, another spot in your inventory. But just know that you have to salvage the gear to get that gem back. If you sell it, I don't believe you'll get the gem back, so you have to salvage the gear. So only put your gems into gear that you plan on salvaging, and you will get your gems back. Lastly, another tip is capstone dungeons, which unlock once you hit level 45 or 50 whenever you finish the uh, main quest line, or the campaign. You'll get a chance to do the capstone dungeon, which unlocks uh, tier three for the world and tier four. So the th the cool thing about the capstone dungeon is so let me go in here nightmare mode unlock by completing the campaign and cathedral of light capstone, which this is the capstone in Kiovashad. And to do this, the capstones the capstone here in Kiovashad is capped at level fifty. So while everything else in the world is scaling with your level this capstone caps at level 50. So say that you hit level 50, but you're not quite sure if you want to go on to the capstone because, you know, World Tier 2 might be a little scarier because the enemies are harder, and you've been on World Tier 1, then you can level to, like, say, 55, 60, and then, like, hey, I'm going to run the capstone. Um, just make sure that you are strong enough to run it because... You definitely want to get to World Tier 3, and once you unlock World Tier 3, you want to stay in World Tier 3. Because you get access to sacred items and unique items that can drop, which are huge damage and stat increase. Also, you'll get access to the Nightmare Sigils um, that, uh, that unseal the Nightmare Dungeons. You'll have access to the Helltides, which drop insane gear as well. Champion monsters with damage-resistant auras can appear as well. But... Enemies are a lot stronger, but monsters give 100% increased experience, 15% more gold, and monsters overcome 20% resistance. So that's a little, uh, little more tougher. But then once you hit level 70, you'll have in the northern dry steeps the fallen temple capstone. This one caps out at level 70. So if you're level like say 70, 80, 90. Well, guess what? You can jump right in because this one caps out at 70, so you don't have to worry about it scaling with your level, which is also super useful. 
And this unlocks, once you unlock tier four, you want to stay in tier four because then you get access to the ancestral items and the unique items uh, can drop. Yes, enemies are stronger and are very scary at that point, but monsters give 200% increased experience, but monsters overcome 40% resistance. So there's that as well. And you have to be in world tier three to be able to do this capstone. So those are just a few tips uh, that are useful for if you are starting out and are new to the game. Um, definitely um, drop a like if this helped you out and if it is useful information. Also let me know any tips and tricks if you have been playing the game as well um, or anything that you may want to know and I can try and make a video on it. And we can even go into some depth about some uh, what characters to pick starting out, what builds uh, to start out as well, and maybe a leveling guide for another build that you are looking to do, or a leveling guide for uh, to level quickly if you're starting out and you want to just get to the end game as quick as possible. But once again, thank you guys all for watching. Hopefully this helped you guys out. Um, if so, make sure you guys tap that like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new to the channel. Um, and turn on the little bell notification to get notified when a new video goes live. Once again, thank you guys all for watching, and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out! Scrap extract.